last couple of lectures, we've been looking at integrating equations. And today we're going to continue looking at that. So we've looked at trapezoidal rule. We looked at Simpson's one third rule. Today we're going to look at Simpson's three eighths rule. So if you remember, Simpson's one third used three points. And then we fit a Lagrange polynomial. And then we integrate the equation and we get a standard equation that we can use whether it's one application or multiple applications. For Simpson's 3 8 rule, instead of using three points, now we're using four points. And we fit a Lagrange polynomial, and then we get the following equation where we can see the coefficient here is three over eight, which is Simpson's 3 8 rule. For this course, we're only gonna cover uh, one application in the lectures for the 3 8 rule. But if you want the multiple applications for 3 8 rules, you can check the textbook and it's there. Um, so the standard equation, basically the points in the middle are multiplied by three, while you use the first point as is and the last point as is. So similar to kind of the trapezoid rule where in the trapezoidal rule we multiplied by two, but here we're multiplying by three for the middle points. Um, and instead of obviously using, you know, three points in this one third, here we're using four points. So we're going to uh, do, uh, I guess I'll show you also the other difference here, which is the H. So if you remember, H is uh, the step size, right? So typically H was equal to the last point minus the first point divided by the number of segments. So in this case, how many segments do we have? Yeah, we have four points, so we have one, two, three segments, so then we're dividing by three. Again, this is indica indicating uh, three segments. All right, and then the other thing, just briefly, the error here for the three-eighths rule is going to be proportional to the fourth derivative but the coefficient is slightly different than uh, the one third rule. So we have negative three over times uh, over 80 times H to the five uh, times the fourth derivative at Psi, or if we plug in what H is, we can write negative B minus A to the five divided by six, four, 80 times the fourth derivative. Again, Xi here is uh, between A and B. So these two equations go hand in hand. All right, so we'll do an example now using uh, the 3 8 rule, just like we did for the other ones. And we're gonna be repeating the same example just to kind of look at the difference between them. So we have an example, and it's basically repeating class example using Simpson's 3 8 rule. And we're only doing a single application in this case. If you remember last time, we also did multiple applications for the one-third rule. That one will be a bit more accurate than this one because we had more segments in that one, right? So typically the one-third rule has two segments. If you do multiple uh, applications, then you have four segments. Here we only have three segments. All right, so if you recall, the starting point was zero, the ending point was 0 0.8, so that means our step size is going to be 0 0.8 minus 0 divided by 3. So this is going to equal 4 over 15. So again, if we wanted to look at the points that we, we have here, so we have four points. First one is 0, the last one is 0 0.8. And then what's the first one over? 4 over 15. And then the next one? 8 over 15. So again, just highlighting, we have three segments. So simply, we take the equation again up here, and then we plug in 
you know, whatever values we need to solve for that equation. So we have the 3 8th rule. So 3 over 8 h first point x naught plus 3 times. Here we can write 3 times the, the 2 points right away instead of having to write 3 twice. So we can just write x1 plus f of x at 2 plus fx3. And then here, you know, straight from this kind of bar system that we drew here, x0 is 0, x1 is 4 over 15, and then x2 is 8 over 15, and the last point here is 0 0.8. So again, we use that same equation that we, we showed last class. We plug in, you know, h, which is 4 over 15. And then, you know, you do the math for all these. I'm just going to write them down here. But for practice, you could uh, try it out yourself as well. We're going to do a practice problem after this anyway. But this is for kind of reference in case you wanted to kind of redo the problem and check every step using this method. Then you can apply uh, these uh, equations and solve for the integral. So here we get an integral of 1.51970, which is pretty close to the true value, which is 1.64, I believe. Um, again, you know, close, but still not exact. So even with the 3 8 rule, uh, we still don't get the exact value unless you do uh, multiple applications, uh, especially if you look at the error here, right? It's proportional to the fourth derivative. And if you remember, this equation was fifth order polynomial. All right, so let's do a practice problem. I'll give you guys, uh, you know, 10 minutes or so to work on it. And that way you can practice not only what we covered today, but what we covered as well before. So practice problem. And what I want you to do is integrate from 0 to 5 the following equation. 2x squared minus x plus 5. And we want you to use trapezoidal rule first for A, and then use Simpson's one-third for B. And then uh, Simpson's 3 8 And then we want you to also find the estimated error. for each method. 